Hi everyone, how are you all? Like uh, in this pandemic situation of the corona, I hope your family, your friends, your loved ones all are safe during this pandemic situation of COVID-19. So guys, a few days back, I have shared like a, a quote based upon the like, can X-rays or as gamma rays can kill coronavirus. I have shared it on my Instagram post. I think most of you have seen that. If you are not following me on my Instagram page, you can follow Ingenious Academy on Instagram. Well, guys, uh, I did some kind of research on this particular topic, like can the coronavirus can, can get killed by this uh, X-rays or else the high frequency waves? Because we all know this uh, light is a form of energy. Okay, these waves are the form of energy and uh, these microorganisms can be killed by these particular waves. So basically I did some sort of research and I found that there is an uh, there is a patent okay in the US basically that patent shows that this particular uh, microorganisms can get killed or can be separated uh, by uh, by some sort of the electromagnetic waves so guys basically today my today's topic is more similar to particular this particular topic well in this particular video we are going to learn how this particular microorganisms its growth can be affected by using some sort of the electronic signal so basically guys if you are new here on my education channel over here engineers academy kindly subscribe to it because your subscription ultimately motivates me to make more of such educational and creative videos so guys please stay tuned please watch my video till the end please subscribe me and press the bell icon so let's begin with our today's topic Suppose I'm having a two identical forks, fork one and fork two. If I set these two identical uh, forks at the same frequency, like if we tune in the vibrations in the fork one, okay, and if we like uh, say this fork two is the ideal, the frequency or the vibrations produced by the fork one will get induced in the fork two very much easily, and the fork two will also resonate at that particular same frequency. This particular like if we hear the node of the fork one okay and fork two it will be similar if we stop the vibration produced by the fork one the fork two will also produce the same kind of vibrations so guys over here the uh, like phenomenon which can be called as the resonant frequency so over here the resonance gets occurred resonance get induced in a fork two from fork one so that is nothing but the resonant frequency we can call it as everything in this particular world resonates at a particular frequency there is a frequency assigned to each and every object in this particular whole universe and that particular frequency that particular um, like object gets resonates so basically if you want to learn the secrets of the world you have to think in the form of energy vibration and resonance that is not my saying that is a quote from Mr. Nikola Tesla so guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn something meaningful and something different that is that does not obey the laws of modern physics that is that is something beyond the modern physics that that is at the quantum level we can call it as so basically suppose most of the you have seen this particular young lady who shattered the glass okay from her magical voice basically i must tell you that there is nothing magical in her voice first that lady taps that particular glass and she hears the frequency or as the pitch of that particular glass it gets produced it produces a sound that particular pitch she listens and she copied in her mind that pitch and then she produces this exact pitch, exact vibrations, exact resonance. That when that particular lady hears that particular sound, that is the natural frequency of that particular glass. And that lady, when she loud out the same frequency, when, the, when that particular lady sings the same frequency at higher pitch, the glass gets shattered, basically. 
the frequency produced by that particular lady is matches with the exact natural frequency of that particular glass and when that particular frequency exceeds the natural frequency of the glass the resonance will occur and the glass gets shattered into pieces so basically over here like a small glass can be destroyed with the help of this particular frequency now let's move ahead to the my next example of a bridge this particular bridge is like a particular suspension type of bridge which carries the heavy vehicles in the in everyday routine basically the majority of the vehicles will travel from this route only okay like if say there is a small amount of the wind like is flowing okay uh, via that particular bridge around that particular bridge and let's say the resonance or the frequency induced over here that in that particular bridge produces the small vibrations like hardly noticeable vibrations and this particular vibrations causes that particular bridge to vibrate at a particular frequency and that particular frequency when matches to the natural frequency of the fasteners of the nut bolts of the material which is used to manufacture that particular bridge when that particular natural frequency exceeds the frequency natural frequency of that particular fasteners and bolts then at that particular point the bridge gets collapsed into the river so that is nothing but the a destruction will occur due to frequency so guys in this both the examples we have seen like a large bridge and a small glass both can be shattered with the help of the resonant frequency so why not we can shatter something which is really smaller than this something which is really small like a microorganism like something which we require a microscope to see so basically this particular resonant frequency phenomenon can be useful in the destroying the microorganisms as well so this is the reason like i have started searching for the like the different patterns like is there any kind of device which can uh, cause the destruction in the microorganisms so basically i have found a radio frequency therapy device that is like uh, that is a uh, uh, introduced by mr james bear like he was a doctor in new mexico and he like introduced a particular resonant frequency therapy device now that particular therapy device uses a some sort of the specialized electronic signal to shatter the smaller microorganisms so as you can see in his particular pattern having pattern number 5908441 dated june 1 1999 so well in this particular pattern he mentioned that like he can destroy the paramecium that is a unicellular like uh, microorganism with his some sort of the electronic signal electronic oscillator which produces a signal which produces a frequency which matches the frequency of this microorganisms and it will restrict the growth of paramecium and the outer walls of the paramecium can be shattered like a glass like a bridge so that is not something different phenomenon that we have heard so far and that device can be called as the resonant frequency therapy device the main function of that particular device is to induce the vibrations into the small living organisms and cells so basically scientists are started researching on that particular device and they are started looking for an exact frequency that matches the frequency of the living microorganisms well they have like uh, tried different number of frequencies and they have observed the like uh, the movement of this uh, microorganisms under a microscope for a specific time period so after doing a lot of research they have found that we require the two frequencies one is on higher side and second one is on lower side like well these particular two frequencies over here like the higher frequency should be 11th times larger than the lower frequency that is called as the 11th harmonics in uh, the musicians that we they call them 11th harmonic so when we add this 11th harmonics in this uh, into the vibrations in that particular therapy device the small microorganisms will get started shattered like a glass basically 
So some of the microorganisms can be easily shattered by using this type of the electronics signals. So after doing some sort of the research, scientists came to know that the cancer is vulnerable between the frequencies of 1 lakh hertz to 3 lakhs hertz. Between these two frequencies, the cancer is vulnerable and the leukemia cells like they shattered very much easily like the growth is restricted and the cell multiplication cell duplication process is restricted at these two particular frequencies. So guys over here we are attacking the small microorganisms indirectly not directly suppose there is a war between uh, like the two uh, kingdoms like the one and two like suppose the first kingdom is the viruses that attacks to your body and the second one is the antibodies that is produced by your body and your cells well this there is a war between the antibodies and the infected cells of your body so in this particular war, war like there is a direct war in between them but if we apply this type of technique this type of therapy device we might win the war by using this electronic signals and special frequencies we can destroy the living organisms like the coronavirus covid19 as well so guys i hope you like my video i hope you understood this concept of the resonant frequency therapy device so if you like my video please hit like if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video